Hey everyone, so if you saw my last video, you'll know that I was just out camping at Great Blue Heron Provincial Park. So while I have my coffee this morning, I wanted to talk a bit about some ways to keep camping as affordable as possible. And stay tuned until the end and I'll tell you exactly how much I spent on gear for this trip. So this year I've been working with my friends at Connexus Credit Union and they want you to know that there's always a way to do what means the most to you like going camping without stressing about money. So before you go and buy a bunch of stuff you don't need, here are three ways to make camping more affordable. Number one, meal prep. Setting up camp, activities, hiking, a beach day can actually make camping really tiring. And the last thing you wanna do is ditch the site and eat at a nearby restaurant. Having as much pre-prepped food as possible will alleviate the temptation to eat out and spend money. We were tenting without any refrigeration and prepped meals for about four days. I made a really filling stew with vegetables and some turkey sausage I got on sale, and I just put it in portioned containers for the cooler, and every night we just heated it up on a burner, and that was dinner. And in addition, don't get tempted by those camping food items. For example, I have all the condiments I need in my fridge and don't need to buy duplicates in a smaller camping size. So I bought some shot glasses at the dollar store, mixed up every condiment I like, and that became the spread I used when we did a hot dog roast. It'd be great for burgers and any other grilled things too. For the record, mine had garlic aioli, hot sauce, ketchup, and Dijon mustard. You can make a custom one for everyone in your household. It costs less and takes up way less space in your cooler. All right, so the second tip is to buy gear off season or late in the season. I bought all of my gear mid-July and camping stuff was already being cleared out for fall. All of the big ticket items, tent, air mattress, coolers, were on sale. Stay tuned at the end for those prices. If camping is something you wanna to work towards, wait until the end of July and August and you'll surely be able to find lots of great deals. The last tip and probably the most important one is don't buy novelty camping items. You will survive without them, I promise. The camping industry will tell you you need a camping kettle, a camping stove, camping coffee pots, camping pots and pans, fire starters. Did you know dryer lint works the best? Anyway, these are usually overpriced and are a space burden to store off season. Obviously, if you're backpacking, it's different and certain things do need to be lightweight and customized. But for the average campgoer, most camping items are kind of unnecessary. I brought our kettle from home, my pour over coffee cone from home, a small cooking pot I use all the time at home, cutlery, and even bedding from home. Unless you're camping in colder months, you can kind of cut sleeping bags out of your budget. Even with temperatures around 10 degrees at night, we were completely fine using our own bedding instead of a sleeping bag and just wore some extra layers. All right, so now let's see how much I spent. So that's of course a lump sum, but divide it up over several months and you start saving a bit each month now, you never know where you'll be in a year. Now, everyone obviously has their own setups for camping, but if it's something you're looking to try but have avoided because of the cost, there are ways to keep things super minimal without breaking the bank. Hey, they're not a bank. They're a credit union. Very true. Check out connexus.ca for money-saving calculators and lots of resources for budgeting and managing your finances in a way that works for you. All right, thanks for watching.